one thing that we've seen is um, that increasingly in all these countries, intersectoral collaboration is rising, particularly between public and private sector. And one area where we see significant benefits is when insurance industry and government actually work together, align their priorities and, and leverage their expertise in all these uh, relevant areas that goes far beyond just providing insurance. And can you share a little bit from where you've seen those benefits? As you know, in the U.S., the National Flood Insurance Program has been the predominant provider of residential flood for five decades. But we're recently seeing the emergence of a private sector market for residential flood. And I think this is sort of an exciting opportunity because the NFIP is really a one-size-fits-all policy. But we know, as we talked about at the beginning, the types of flood risk vary enormously within the U.S. and in these other countries. And also, you know, sort of the needs and financial conditions of households vary. And so I think one opportunity is that the private sector can start better tailoring products to needs. So for example, we've seen some homeowners policies now having the option where you could add on a flood protection to your homeowner's policy and it has a low coverage limit and it's designed for areas really of pluvial flood risk where you might get a few inches of water in your house, but not where you're gonna be knocked over by storm surge, right? Um, but that can provide really important financial protection and then can also be linked to mitigation options that the National Flood Insurance Program doesn't incentivize. So things like changing your flooring, moving your mechanicals, changing the grading around your home, installing sump pumps, drainage. These are lower cost options that can reduce risk that the private sector might be able to offer um, incentives for.